How you doing guys, welcome to another episode. This is still topic one, this is volume nine, and we talk about what is a yield in this video. Let's get into it. So, theoretical and experimental yields. We need to know what a yield is. IB understandings, we refer back to limiting and excess, and the applications and skills are calculating a percentage yield from an experimental result. So a percentage yield is the amount of product formed experimentally compared to the amount that we could theoretically get if we assume that all of the reactants turn into products using stoichiometry. So the percentage yield is the experimental yield, how much we determine, how much we collect from our experiment, how much is produced when we do the experiment, divided by the theoretical yield, which we use stoichiometry to calculate. Then we multiply it by 100 to get it to a percentage. So for instance, if we have 10 grams of ethene and we react it with a whole bunch of bromine, we can work out that the theoretical yield was 66.95 using the stoichiometry. The experimental yield, however, was only 50 grams. So we got less than what we expected. So the percentage yield for this experiment is how much we produced, 50 grams, divided by the theoretical amount that was possible if all of the reactants turned into products, in this case was 66.95, and then we multiply that by 100 to give us our percentage yield. Doing that calculation, we work out the percentage yield to be 74.68%. That is our experimental yield. Here's another example. Aspirin is made by adding a CTN hydride to an aqueous solution of salicylic acid. The equation is given. And we have two moles of salicylic acid, plus one mole of acetic anhydride forms two moles of aspirin. We've been told that we have one kilogram of salicylic acid and two kilograms of acetic anhydride. Because they've given us the mass of both of the reactants, we need to work out which one is limiting and which one is excess. So the first thing we need to do is find the number of moles of both. So to work out the number of moles of salicylic acid, don't forget, one kilogram, we need to convert that to grams, so that's a thousand grams, divided by the molar mass of salicylic acid, gives us 7.08 moles. Then I've got to work out the number of moles of acetic anhydride, mass over molar mass. Again, we've been given two kilograms, so don't forget to change that to grams. So we have 2000 divided by 102.1, giving us 19.6 mole. To work out the limiting, remember the little trick, divide by the stoichiometric coefficients to work out the limiting. So here we can see that salicylic acid, it will be the smallest number once we do the division. It will be the limiting reagent. The acetic anhydride is in excess. So we use the limiting, the number of moles of the limiting, to work out our theoretical yield. And we use the number of moles and the ratio between that and aspirin. So the number of moles of aspirin will be two, thing that you want, over two, the salicylic acid, times the number of moles of salicylic acid. So that ends up being the same number of moles. All the number of moles of salicylic acid transferred to the number of moles of aspirin. So we would get 7.08 moles of aspirin produced. To work out our theoretical yield, we would need to do the mass equals mole times mole mass. We need to know how much we would produce. So we have our mole, 7.08 moles of aspirin would be produced, and we multiply that by the mole mass, which is 180.17, giving us a mass of 1,276 grams, which is the same as 1.28 kilos. This is our theoretical yield. If all of the salicylic acid turned into aspirin, we would expect to get 1.28 kilograms. So for C, it says if 1.12 kilograms of aspirin is produced experimentally, determine the percentage yield. So our percentage yield would be our amount produced experimentally, 1.12, divided by our theoretical yield, 1.28, multiplied by 100, 
giving us the percentage yield of 87.5%. Okay, a couple of top tips for volume nine. Theoretical comes from the stoichiometry and the experimental or actual comes from ex an experiment. It's always the smallest one divided by the larger one. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.